is to also have a climate plan. That is what our customers, Canada's customers are requiring. That is what foreign investors are requiring. And we're seeing the results. In 2023, Canada had more FDI per capita than any other G7 country. That's because we have a strong economic plan that includes a strong climate plan. Everyone has an opinion about Canadian federal politics. Hey gang, what's up? Just Aaron right here, Question Period Canada. Pretty excited to bring you a committee investigation clip. These are always wild. We've got the heavy hitters, Larry Brock, Michael Barrett, Rick Perkins, Shannon Stubbs, Stephanie Cousy, Michael Cooper, Michael Chong, Michael Barrett. Let's get into it. They're always interesting. The witnesses are always difficult. That's part of the fun. Let's check out this crazy stuff that's happening in committee. Let's go. Six minutes. We're starting with MP Holland, please, for the first six minutes. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Minister, do you think it was fair to increase the carbon tax 23% when 70% of Canadians told you not to as 2 million Canadians visit a food bank in a single month? Was that fair? Mr. Hallen, 8 out of 10 Canadians get more money back than they pay in with the price on pollution. We also know that the only way to have a credible, effective economic plan in 2024 is to also have a climate plan. That is what our customers, Canada's customers are requiring. That is what foreign investors are requiring. And we're seeing the results. In 2023, Canada had more FDI per capita than any other G7 country. That's because we have a strong economic plan that includes a strong climate plan. Uh, Minister, your, your carbon tax is actually a tax plan and not an environmental plan. And the PBO on multiple occasions came to this committee and proved um, a lot of the stuff you're saying is misinformation and false. For example, he said just a few weeks ago that a majority of families pay more into this carbon tax than what they get into these rebates that you're talking about. Last time you were here, for example, in your own words, an average Albertan family gets $1,800 in rebates. But... I have the PBO report here in my hand that says an average Alberta family pays $2,900 into the carbon tax. Do you think it's fair that an average Alberta family has to pay $1,100 more into the tax? Is that fair to them? Mr. Hallen, I think the people who are trafficking in misinformation when it comes to a price on pollution are, I'm sad to say, the Conservatives. PBO wrong? The Average, 8 out of 10 Canadian families, very much including Alberta families, but he said get a majority more of families money are back off. than they pay wrong? in on a price on pollution. That is simply the reality. It has been verified by economists across the country, including the most esteemed economists in Alberta. The reality is this is a revenue neutral plan which is giving money back to Alberta families and I am delighted that we are now giving money back to small businesses across the country including small businesses in Alberta. And the final thing that is just so important and it's important for the province you and I love a lot, Alberta, is the only way for us as an open trade exposed economy to have an economic plan that actually works, to actually be able to attract foreign investment, to actually be able to sell what we produce, is to have a strong and credible climate plan. That's what our government has. So, Minister, I, I think it's clear to see that by you ducking and dodging the facts that you, you absolutely um, are still peddling misinformation about the carbon tax. And uh, someone who claims to love Alberta wouldn't take extra $1,100 in a carbon tax and what they get in rebates. So I just wanted to make that clear. Uh, recently, um, as I move on, <clears throat> Mark Carney just testified yesterday at the Senate uh, committee, uh, someone who will probably be your next leader, um, and as someone who's rumored to be uh, also um, a leadership candidate in the next li liberal leadership race, um, we saw Mark Carney also duck and dodge the question of if he supported the carbon tax. So. Before you launch your campaign, uh, we wanted to know, will you continue down the path of Justin Trudeau and quadruple the carbon tax? 
Uh, so, Mr. Hallen, I'm not sure the best use of this committee's precious time is to indulge in political speculation I think and the political Canadians horse need to racing. Know if you're I'm, I'm sorry, for Mr. Hallen, I didn't interrupt you with your very you long attacks. comments. And so now I would ask you politely sure. to, to do me the same courtesy. Sure. Um, so let me just be clear, because you have waded pretty far into waters of political speculation. Uh, our party has a leader, and our government has a prime minister. Uh, he has the full support of our cabinet and our Fair caucus. Fair enough, Minister, because well, I have a short I, amount of time. Mr. So Hallan, please don't on interrupt that, on me. That note, you I, used up your precious time speculating about party politics. Uh, you leave me no choice but to that question, you give me Minister, no choice but to answer. I just and I'm wanted quite to ask, happy. Then do you I'm sorry, Mr. Hallan, I didn't interrupt you. And if we could just try to find the right balance here so we can hear and, uh, sure. and we can get some answers. Um, I'll just, I'll move on then. Um, because uh, I, I, I just, wasn't finished I with my answer, that's, Mr. Hallan. That's fine. I'll take my time because I only have a limited amount Point of, of time. Chair, I think it's customary for when members ask questions to give witnesses equal a weighted amount of time to answer. Uh, and I don't believe that uh, the minister has had uh, her time to answer. So what I do ask is uh, for respect here in the room, and uh, we do have the minister. It is precious time. We have uh, we have one hour. I'm sure you want to hear from the minister and MPL, and I'm sure you want to pose your questions. So let's find, like I said, the right balance to 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 make this happen. I'll, I'll move on to my next question because I only have uh, a limited amount of time. Uh, minister, under the nine years of your government, <coughs> rents have doubled. Literally, they were half what they were before your government took over. Uh, rents, uh, uh, rent prices are outpacing income for the first time in 60 years. Um, your $89 billion photo op slush fund, supposedly for housing, after you announced that, has doubled rents. Um, I want to know, how did you spend $89 billion to double rents? Uh, thank you for the question, Mr. Halan. And I am actually glad to see the, all of us paying attention to housing. Uh, I think it is one of the most pressing issues for Canada and Canadians, and that is why with this budget and with action we have taken, our government has put forward the most ambitious plan to get more homes built faster in Canadian history. With all, all of the measures taken together, will mean that nearly 4 million new homes are built by 2031. That is what Canada needs. That is what we are doing. That's what we're investing in. And conservative austerity will not accomplish that. It's also a night, you also offer me a nice opportunity to point out that when your current leader was responsible for housing, he managed to get only six homes built. That is a record we're happy to stand against any day of the week. Thank you, uh, Minister, and uh, we're going to... Everyone has an opinion about Canadian federal politics. What do you think, gang? Point of order, Mr. Chair. What is going on in these committee meetings? We do get the best of the best. Larry Brock, Garnet Genu, Rick Perkins, Michael Chong, Michael Cooper, Shannon Stubbs, Michael Barrett, with Stephanie Cousy. The list goes on and on. They're always super interesting. Something else that's super interesting is the live show that we cover. We cover every question period daily broadcast. It's fun. Come join the community. It's a fun chat room if you like that kind of thing. We keep it clean but we're learning about Canadian federal politics and we'll continue with that and these series of videos about the committee meetings. So like, subscribe, get notified, share all that fun stuff. Check out one of the other videos floating around here. We'll catch you next video. Thank you very much for watching this one. Also check out our live broadcast. It's really fun. Like, subscribe, get notified and share all those fun things. We'll catch you next video. Thanks for watching.